This video is going to be completely unscripted. I've taken a few notes, and you're going to hear some clicks around in the background because I'm referring to my notes and things of that nature. So, Jimmy Kimmel Live is a comedy channel that is on YouTube, and you'll see the hypocrisy and ridiculousness in the fact that it's a comedy channel on YouTube being watched later when I address this whole concern in this video. So, the video's title he did was YouTube's new video game watching service. It has a grand total of 271,000 views it has 2717 likes hey man that's pretty good right 2717 likes doing pretty well except that it has 29220 dislikes 29000 people actively logged in and disliked the video you should see some of the comments on here and i'll link you to the video uh, people saying very proud of the internet for giving this video 21000 dislikes and 2000 likes gg he got what he deserved on making this comedy routine this is short video it's only 2 minutes long and this is again one of the most disliked videos videos it might even surpass metroid prime uh soccer so you know what i'm talking about um but not to get off subject let's talk about uh the video itself so i've taken a few notes here and the video opens with him saying we should all be very ashamed of ourselves as parents is the channel's name you know the youtube gaming service that's the channel's name haha -ha, audience explodes ha 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 funny 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 yeah that's hilarious, right? So what he's trying to say is we should be ashamed of ourselves as parents because our kids are watching people play video games. So instead of kids getting into drugs like they were getting into in the 80s and 90s, instead of kids having premarital sex without condoms on and making babies left and right, you know, it's this. This is why we should be ashamed of ourselves. Because our kids are at home, in a safe environment, watching other people play video games. They themselves aren't playing violent video games. They themselves aren't committing crimes. They're just watching video games. So the audience cheers and jeers them on, alright? So he continues to say, watching someone else play video games is like going to a restaurant and watching someone else eat your food for you. Again, the audience laughs very loudly. Now, this correlation would be correct if every person on the planet had access and the money to purchase purchase every video game there was. I mean, he says, if you like them, then play them. Again, not realizing the correlation that video games are expensive, Jimmy. Video games aren't plentiful. Some people can't emulate certain systems. Some people don't have the computer to emulate certain systems. So even if many people could emulate, there are still people out there who cannot, and thus cannot play these old games. Let's say you, for example, wanted to play Contra. The good old Contra from the NES. Now, you have about three or four options to do that, okay? You can play the arcade version on the 360 and get the disc and pay for that. You can get an NES and the original cartridge and hope to God that it still works. Probably does, but it just depends on where you buy it from and you would have to pay a lot of money for that. You could emulate it if you had a computer that can emulate, which since it's the NES, you probably could. And uh, that's about it. There are some other things that you could do. You can get an emulation station like the Retron 5, but there's no way, shape, or form that if you were watching that game and you didn't have that game, that you could just play that game. See, the correlation there doesn't work. It would be like saying, Saying, hmm, you know, I would not like to watch the football game. I think I'm just gonna go play in the, you know, football game. So it's a Super Bowl. Let's let's just go play in the Super Bowl instead of watching it, right? Like you can't do that. And on top of that, let me just make the correlation completely redundant here, okay? Let's say you wanted to eat some French cuisine, right? So now you have to hop on a plane, fly over there, book a hotel room, book a plane ride back, figure out the restaurant, learn how to speak French or bring a book with French, and then go and order your food at the place, organizing transportation there also. Instead of turning on your television set or turning on YouTube, typing in French cuisine, person eating French cuisine, review, overview, rating, how does it taste, things like that. Now you see the correlation? You can easily watch someone and get a good grasp of what the cuisine is and understand how it might taste without having to go to France. It's amazing how ignorant your correlation was. And I know what some of you guys are thinking. Jimmy probably doesn't write his own sketches, right? And no, he doesn't. But Jimmy is the face of this. And at any given time, Jimmy could have said, hmm, this sounds a bit ignorant, guys. This sounds very bad. I've seen stuff being talked about in the gaming sphere on YouTube. Maybe he has or hasn't. And he could have said, you know, I would like you to reword this stuff, work it around a little bit different. So it's not so ignorant, you know, so that people won't get so upset. And they probably would have said, yeah, 
Jimmy, you're the face of this, so we're going to do that for you. No problem, you know? So then he continues on, and he says he's getting old because when he only watched video games when he ran out of quarters, and everyone everyone applauds heavily, cheering him on. Yeah, Jimmy, yeah, we remember the 80s when we used to play Pac-Man and, and, and Pong. Never mind, things have changed for, for the better. You know, video game arcades used to be synonymous with drug dealers, with crime, with people getting robbed. So when your child was down at the arcade, you weren't sure sure if they were being sold marijuana or heroin or being taken or being jumped or attacked and things like that because video game arcades were ripe for people to prey on children man and and it's it's very silly again that you're trying to make this correlation like it's amazing that you only watched them when you ran out of course and that's fine that's fine maybe you're way old maybe you're an old man that's perfectly fine you know maybe you're supposed to be gray-headed but you use just for men cool whatever man if you're an old guy and you don't understand something then don't talk about it because you sound like an idiot Okay, so then he goes on and talks about how there's big money in this, citing PewDiePie and the amount he makes. He literally does cite the amount he makes. And now, I'm gonna talk about that, but then he continues to say and says, you'd have to pay me millions of dollars to make me sit through one of these videos of somebody playing a video game, making me watch them stream it. Very, very silly. And the audience applies, applauds a little bit there and laughs a little bit, not very much. So they obviously understood that he was going a little bit too far here it, it, it's just very mean-spirited and ridiculing look man jimmy you understand that there is millions of dollars in this business why are you talking so poorly about it why are you making so much fun about it and then he continues to say where does it end and then proceeds to post an inception like sketch where people are watching people watching people and it's supposed to be this big joke and haha it's funny get it it's it's people watching people haha hilarious fucking hilarious Hilarious, man. But the dislike ratio already proves that. But I want to go back to when he was talking about the individual PewDiePie and how he makes a lot of money off this. I want to talk about why this was very ignorant and stupid of him. So this is a rough estimation here, but around, I believe this is from 2008, there was $3.8 billion in revenue generated alone from the home video game industry, both in arcade and home markets that combined to be around the revenue of 11 point eight billion dollars for the video game industry in 1982 which is the equivalent to over 27.3 billion in 2011 so if i worded that a little bit wrong here it's pretty much in 2011 27.3 billion dollars was made in home video game consoles and back in 1982 11.8 billion was being made. So it's it's almost tripled since 1982, which would be around the time that Jimmy was playing video games and watching video games when his quarter ran out. So there's quite a bit of money to be had in the industry, and I'm sure it's grown quite a bit more since it's 2015 and not 2011. My sources is the video game industry Wikipedia. I I know Wikipedia is not the best source, but it's pretty decent for what I'm talking about right now. Now, there are over 1.2 1.2 billion people in the world playing games. This uh, survey was taken November 25th, 2013. You know how many people are in the world? Okay, 7.125 billion. Again, 2013. So the survey matches up saying that about one seventh of the world plays video games. One seventh. From your mom playing Candy Crush to the two year old playing their first video game. People play video games everywhere. So this was very stupid of him to talk about. Even people have been extol, honored greatly for what they've done in the video game world as their accomplishments. A man named Ralph Baer was received the National Medal of Technology and Innovation from George W. Bush because he created the Magnavox Odyssey, the father of video games, quote unquote. And, you know, you could say what you want about it, but there's a picture of him receiving a medal from the President of the United States. Jimmy, have you ever received a medal from the President of the United States? Have you ever met the President of the United States? Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. But seriously, man, stop being so ignorant about this stuff. Now, I've presented quite a few facts here and talked quite extensively about why this video is so ridiculous and silly, but I would like to hear your comments in the section below. Again, I will link the video and you can feel free to watch it, but I would strongly suggest 
that you watch it one time before you comment in the video because again you, you don't want to seem ignorant you don't want to seem silly as I have watched it myself I have taken notes and I've talked about it to you but feel free to watch it yourself and feel free to comment there and here as well make sure to like this so other people know that this guy is doing this stuff as a gamer as a lot of people play who play games you guys may or may not want to support this individual's comedy sketches anymore because this isn't a personal preference for him this isn't a personal desire it's not like he came out and he's gay and now people don't want to support him it's not like he came out and said he was an atheist and people don't want to support him this is literally his views on video games and if you play video games and you stream video games like i do like i play mega man and i stream mega man i stream pokemon maybe you wouldn't want to support him anymore so thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen and i've been your host proto mario and i'm signing out good gaming and as always god bless and now, the important decision of joining the Maverick Rebellion. We are a tight group of individuals who rebel against stereotypes and greater evils that are commonly accepted. ISPs, children being conned out of games, sexism in video games, enough is enough. And the Mavericks have had it. If you choose to subscribe, or stay subscribed, you are joining the fight against injustice by watching my numerous video topics. From net neutrality to publishers covering up botched releases, the Mavericks are always informed on the issues plaguing your gaming experience today. So don't be left out in the cold, and don't let those people keep you down. Join the Maverick Rebellion today and become a member of the community that will listen and engage with you. What are you waiting for? Just click subscribe and you'll be in good company. Mavericks unite!